The open source world is a vibrant ecosystem, and nowhere is this more evident than with Linux. Unlike the walled garden approach of most proprietary operating systems, Linux boasts a staggering number of distributions. Estimates range from hundreds to thousands. This diversity can be overwhelming for newcomers, prompting the question, why are there so many Linux distros? The answer lies not just in technical specifications, but in the very philosophy that underpins open source software, freedom. This freedom manifests in several ways, shaping the Linux landscape into its current form. The story begins in 1983 with Richard Stallman and the GNU project. Stallman envisioned a completely free operating system built on the principles of open source. This meant freely available source code, allowing anyone to view, modify, and redistribute it. However, the GNU project lacked a crucial piece, the kernel, the core software that interacts with hardware. Then in 1991, Linus Torvalds entered the scene with Linux, a revolutionary kernel inspired by Minix. Here, the foundation for a collaborative operating system was laid. The open source nature of Linux meant anyone could modify the kernel and its accompanying tools. This freedom of choice led to the first major fork in the Linux world, Debian. Released in 1993, Debian aimed to be a completely free operating system, adhering strictly to the GNU philosophy. However, not everyone agreed with this strict approach. In 1994, Red Hat emerged, offering a commercial Linux distribution. Red Hat took the core Linux kernel and added proprietary software, tools, and support services. This model proved successful, demonstrating the possibility of a sustainable business based on open source software. These early forks illustrate the first reason for the multitude of Linux distros, philosophical differences. Developers and users have diverse needs and preferences. Some prioritize complete freedom, while others value stability and commercial support. This spectrum of ideologies has led to a vast array of distributions catering to various user groups. Beyond philosophy, considerations of specific user needs also contribute to distro diversity. For instance, some distros like Arch Linux are designed for experienced users who prefer a lightweight, customizable experience. Meanwhile, others like Ubuntu focus on ease of use and cater to a broader audience with pre-configured software and user-friendly interfaces. Specialized distros also exist, such as those geared towards scientific computing or embedded systems. These variations further expand the Linux landscape, offering solutions for specific uses. The open source nature of Linux allows for rapid innovation. Developers are free to experiment with new technologies and approaches within their chosen distro. This experimentation fosters innovation across the entire Linux ecosystem. For instance, some distros, like Gentoo Linux, offer a unique source-based build system, allowing users to compile software specifically for their hardware. This approach, while demanding, can lead to significant performance gains. Meanwhile, other distros like Elementary OS focus on a user-friendly interface inspired by Mac OS. The gaming world isn't left out of this flourishing garden. Recognizing the growing interest in Linux gaming, developers have created several distros specifically tailored to the needs of gamers. These gaming distros often come pre-configured with popular gaming tools like Steam, Lutris, and various graphics drivers optimized for gaming performance. The Nobara project, for instance, is a Linux distribution built upon Fedora Linux. It's distinguished by its inclusion of numerous kernel patches specifically tailored to enhance the performance of various gaming hardware on Linux. These diverse approaches allow for continuous improvement and push the boundaries of what a Linux distribution can be. The open source spirit fosters vibrant communities around each distro. These communities play a crucial role in development, bug fixing, documentation creation, and user support. 
Users with specific needs or technical expertise often gravitate towards distros with strong communities that align with their interests. For example, the Arch Linux community is renowned for its collaborative development model and user-driven documentation. Conversely, Ubuntu boasts a massive and welcoming community known for its friendly support resources. These distinct communities contribute to the richness of the Linux ecosystem. The future of Linux distros likely involves continued diversification. New distros will emerge to cater to specific needs and capitalize on advancements in hardware and software. However, fragmentation remains a potential concern. As the number of distros grows, finding the right one can become a complex task for newcomers. Initiatives to improve distro discovery and simplify the installation process will be crucial in maintaining the accessibility of the Linux ecosystem. The sheer number of Linux distros can be daunting, but it's a testament to the strength and flexibility of open source software. This diversity caters to a vast range of users and fosters innovation across the entire computing landscape. Understanding the philosophical, technical and community-driven reasons behind this diversity empowers users to make informed choices and find the Linux distro that perfectly suits their needs.